Audu, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Freddy Adu. Managing Arsenal, we've had we've played one game so far, won it 2 2 0. 5 0. I've read the two. I've read the two as I tried to read the five. 5 0 at home to Man United. Next up is away at West Brom, then Liverpool, then Middlesbrough. Three away games in a row. Not great. Got an injury update, it's looking quite a lot better. Um, Nacho, back in a day, excellent. Theo, back in a day. When's the next game? Uh, four days away, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Uh, Gabriel, still some way off, as is Jenko and Mertesacker and Danny Welbeck, a long way off yet. But looking better, looking better. And, ladies and gentlemen, in the least shocking news of the day, Jack Wilshire is injured. Got some fitness tests in, and they're all pretty fucking decent news. Mustafi can play the whole game, he played the whole last game. Don't know why that's a fitness test. Fitness test not required, so why are you telling me? Uh, and everyone else passed theirs. All recommended for a half apart from Sesk, who can probably play for an hour. Um, in all likelihood, they'll all bench, because all their conditions are decent. Uh, they might all get onto the bench. I'll certainly consider them all for the bench. Don't think I'm going to shift up the first team. Uh, still not overly happy with their match fitness, but it's good enough to go. Uh, might change up the bench a little bit, though. Don't feel like I need Lucas, Iwobi and Sacco all on the bench. I um, feel like I could use Fabregas on there instead of Lucas, and I'll do that. And away from home, I feel like I need defensive midfield cover more than attacking, more than playmaking, so I'm going to put El Neni on the bench instead of Xhaka. Uh, other than that, though, I think we're good to roll. Um, I'm not going to change up the team, and not going to change up the tactics either. I know we're away from home, and so maybe we should go a little more conservative, but how can I change anything after we beat Man United 5-0? Same team, same tactics, let's roll. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Okay, so their team, they've gone for Ben Foster, Neon, uh, Craig Dawson, Johnny Evans, Brendan Galloway, Jakob, Berhino at right mid, okay, uh, Darren Fletcher, James Morrison, Nasser Chadley, and Rondon up front. Target man up front, I like the style. Uh, t attacking wingers, very attacking wingers. Um, and two, well, I, I guess that's a solid three in midfield there. I don't think I'm going to be able to boss them around quite like I did Man United's midfield. No shit, Sherlock. I'm going to go with Calm and pick up where you left off. And yeah, they're happy with that. Let's go. Oh, here we go then. Giroud. Ramsey. Out wide for Gibbs. Good ball. Gibbs inside for Alexis. Back for Gibbs. Great play. Cross in. Giroud. Oh, well saved, Foster. It wasn't saved. That's just a miss from Giroud then from under the bar. Let's have a look at it on the replay. Because Giroud's normally much better than this. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. He's going to... Good cross in. We'll, we'll say he's under pressure from two defenders. And we'll let him away with it. Okay, free kick. Ramsey. Alexis. Ozil. Excellent play. Gibbs is free again. Gibbs, back post this time. Headed away. This is going to be their attacking highlight. Chadley forward for Rondon. Can he hold it open went for support? Or can I just do my entire defence? Here's Berahino. Get out to him. Oh, and they've scored, Rondon. Oh, shit. Oh. I was hoping we could go away and still dominate, but might have to play different tactics on the road than we do at home. No shit. Berahino does well. Uh, my defenders don't do well. Get Two of them get out to him, but don't stop him getting the cross in, which isn't very good. And near post, Rondon's unmarked to lash out. That's not very good defending at all. Sherlock. We're having a lot of possession, but we haven't really done that much. Come on. Here we go. Okay, Mustafi. G up for Giroud, nods it down for Ozil. That's good. Ramsey has a bit of space. Can he find someone? Is there a runner for him? Not really. Coquelin. Come on. Someone make a movement. Ah. Back to the skipper, Kishelny. Ramsey. Coquelin. Come on, someone make a movement. Someone make some movement in there. Oh, oh. What the hell was that? Well, we've had a lot of possession, but we have done jack shit. So I'm going to be assertive. And I'm going to tell him to show me something else. Check. Look to switch off. Fuck you. All right, here we go. Gibbs. Good bullet for the target, man. Oh, interceptor. But Alexis is going to get there. He's going to shoot, I think. Normally he does from there. That is woeful. 
All right, 70 minutes gone. I'm gonna have to change something here because uh, it's just not happening. Thinking of bringing Fabregas on for Ozil, who's done nothing really. Uh, change, put him as attacking midfielder, attack to go behind Giroud's target man. And I'm thinking of bringing Santi in for Ramsey, who's not an awful game, but it's not a great game either. And make him an advanced playmaker on support. Maybe maybe on attack. Oh, he's not he's not as comfortable with playing on attack. But I think we actually need it. I'm gonna put him on attack. Okay. Come on, changes. Make the make the make the difference. Come on, please. Got a throw in on the left, Gibbs. Is Alexis. Good to Oh Giroud! Of course it is. If we're gonna score, of course it's Giroud. One apiece. They've only had that one attacking highlight where they scored. They haven't done anything other than that. We've had all of the ball, all of the play. Hopefully, we can press on now and get the win. Good play from Alexis. One hit from Giroud. That's three right foot goals already in two games. That's unrealistic. Now, Ox on the right hand side hasn't had the best game, so I'm going to bring Iwobi on. Um, same position, same everything else. Uh, give him a team talk. Calmly, you have the ability now. Okay, whatever. And here they come with their attack, their second attack of the game, hopefully not their second goal. Morrison is just going to bang it from there. I've got a check in the goal, dude. Here we go. This just could, could just be the game ending highlight, but it could be an attack for us. Chadley heads away. Now it's just going to be the game ending uh, highlight, I think. Bellerin, Iwobi, Fabregas. It will be. Come on, find Bellerin. Oh, Alex, no, don't just stop dead. Uh, come on, come on, Gibbs. Find a bit of quality for me, please, mate. Giroud! Oh! That was the chance, that was the chance right at the end. One all, I'm very disappointed with that. Very disappointed. We dominated that game, they had one attack. We defended that one attack poorly. And now uh, we've only managed to come out with a draw. Um, hit the ground with a bit of a thud there. I'm going to say that wasn't good enough. Yeah. Damn right fired up. Look at the figures from that match. 63% possession. 23 shots to their 4. We should we, we should have been winning that. So team of the week's in and Gibbs is in it. Uh, highlighting how well he has been playing so far this season. But the next game up is away against Liverpool now their goal came down our left hand side because he bombs forward and he bombs forward and he does really really good work but I think in the bigger games against the better teams certainly away from home I'm going to have to play Monreal just because he's that bit better defensively so as well as Gibbs have been playing I'm going to have to drop him which feels harsh but that's football baby that was fucking weird and Fabregas is injured again injured after sprinting Twisted his knee out for two weeks. That's that's a warning sign. The rematch is set. <laughs> a little under a month away, we're going to Old Trafford in the League Cup. On a Tuesday night, they can look to get some revenge from that 5-0 hammering we gave them at our place. They will maybe wait in until next year to host us, but no, they'll host us in September. That will be a big one. And here we are with the draw for the Champions League group stage. Now we are in pot two. We're in pot two down here. Uh, meaning we can't be drawn against any of these teams, which is kind of good. I don't, I don't want Dortmund or Atletico. Uh, or Napoli, particularly. Or Leverkusen or Sevilla. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with being in this pot. There's quite a few teams in this pot I'd like to avoid. Um, hopefully we get drawn out. We can't be drawn out in a group with Leicester. Hopefully we'll get drawn out in a group with CSKA or Benfica. Let's, uh, let's just... Uh, Populate all these teams. Right. So we want to come out either first or fifth. Do not want to come out second, third, or sixth. Let's go. So we haven't got that one. Please don't give me this one. Okay. Or this one. Okay. I'll be okay with that one. Please, this one. Don't give me this one, please. I can only, or I can only get Real or PSG now. Oh, PSG. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So in this part, we can't get Spurs. Um, out of this part, 
ideally we'd get either Olympiakos or Andalect. Um, Andalect are gone. Olympiakos is still possible. It's them or Villarreal. I don't want Villarreal. It's Villarreal. That's two reasonably strong teams in our group so far. No, we're still the strongest team in the group, but they, those two teams are both quite strong. So hi, ideally here we don't want to get like Monaco or uh, a German team. <laughs> um, but we could well do. So Monaco are gone, that's good. The German side are gone, that's good. Uh, give me uh, give me Pulsen. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So a fairly tricky group then. A fairly tricky group uh, lies ahead of us. PSG, VRL and Pilsen. Could have been better. That draw could have gone better. But turn our attention back to domestic matters and the away game against Liverpool. This could... This could really go either way. You never know with Liverpool. Uh, as I said, as I alluded to before, I've put Monreal in for Gibbs. He's only on 83%, which isn't great. Um, but he, he put his favourite position is wing-back defend. So I feel like he'll stay further back and won't get caught like we did in the last game. I've also brought Xhaka in. His 61% isn't great match fitness. But I like him in there as a deep-line playmaker on a defensive duty. Meaning he'll, he'll hover further back. Give us that a bit of cover against a very lively... Uh, Liverpool side. Other than that, I'm sticking the same. I contemplated starting a world be over Ox, but I really like Ox in this game. Uh, I've liked him in the last like three or four four managers. He's a really, really good player. Plays above what his stats would have you think he would play like, for the most part. So this is the team that I'm rocking with: uh, Czech, Bellerin, Mustafi, Koscielny, Monreal, Coquelin, Xhaka, Ox, Özil, Sanchez, Giroud. Let's go. Okay, so their team, they're going for Menule in goal. Uh, Klein, Lovren, Sacco, Moreno, Emre Chan, Milner, Henderson, Mane on the right, Coutinho on the left, probably as an inside forward. And Sturridge is what looks to be quite a, a deep attacker. I thought he'd be... Or maybe he's on, like, Trek Easter or something. I thought he's probably best as advanced forward. I'd expect to see this shirt maybe more like here. Um, but, yeah, that's quite a strong team, isn't it? Quite a strong team. Okay, first... Incident in the match, they've got a corner and they played it deep for Mane. He's going to bang one and it's gone in. That was such a weak shot. Check, you've got to be saving that. And we got away with it because Sacco was offside. But check, you've got to save that. We'll get a replay here. Not from the camera I normally like. Oh, it's because it's offside. Yeah, it's miles offside, but it doesn't touch it. And check just lets that in. That's worrying signs. Okay, check with a. Free kick in his own box, up towards Giroud. Mustafi knows it down for Chambo. Okay, we've got a chance here. Can Chambo beat Moreno? He can indeed. Okay, come on. Good ball in Giroud. Yes, there it is. He's scored in every game so far. That's five in two games and half an hour. What a man. What a big, sexy man. I oh, Stop doing that. Crossing from Ox. Rises like a salmon. Into the top bins. Fuck, I love you. And that's it for the half. Uh, quite a drab one, but it's a drab one that we're leading, so I'm fine with that. Do not get complacent. Monreal looks stressed. Chill out, dude. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, check with the goal kick. Up the middle, won by them. Mustafi heads it down, though, for. Here we go. They've got some space now. Alexis. Giroud. Hold it up a little bit. Wait for now. Don't get tackled by Lovren. That's just embarrassing. Here's Mane, come Monreal, that's an excellent piece of tackling, that's excellent, unlucky though. Sturge, Mane, shoot from there, shoot from there Sturge, go on. Oh dear, this is really well worked, this is really well worked, oh, oh how have we got away with that? That's excellent football from Liverpool, a warning of what they can do to us. Cut through us, really excellent play. Henderson over the top, Sturge knocks it down, Mane to Sturridge, and then I believe it's to Firmino, and then Firmino finds the run of Coutinho, who should have scored, really. Should be scoring that. Got away with it. Here they come again. Koscielny intercepts, though. Careful here. Careful. Well done. Okay, Drew, hold it up a little bit. Oh, just look for Alexis. That's excellent. Come on, Alexis. Seal the win. Seal the win. Oh, my days. <laughs> that was awful. That was awful. What's it... I'm actually a little a little bit in shock at that, that he's missed that. Not that he's missed it, but that he's missed it by so far. Alexis Sanchez, where's your composure, mate? 
That is appalling. Now it's an hour in and Monreal's down to 64%. I feel like I'm going to have to take... I didn't put Gibbs on the bench. Shit. I didn't take someone off the bench to put Gibbs on it. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I've brought Xhaka off for El Nani. It's, El Nani is the same position. It's also natural for him. So it's not changing anything tactically because the tactically were going well. Just changing personnel. El Nani in. Let's give him a team talk to try and make sure that he isn't nervous as well. Calm, I have faith. Looked happy. Excellent. There's our nuts free kick to Mustafi. Oh, Bellerin's got a bit of space here. Got a bit of space indeed. There's Alexis. It's 2 0. Is it offside? No, it's not. It's 2 0. Fucking get in. Oh. So we're going to touch wood. Looks like we're going to have beaten Liverpool and Man United, but then drawn with West Brom. If that is an Arsenal form, I don't know what is. Very realistic, this game. Apart from Giroud's right foot. Okay, Monreal with a throw in for us on the left. I don't know what that was supposed to be. Here's Firmino, Sturridge. Guard against this. Excellent, Koscielny. Don't give the ball away. Excellent, Alexis. Come on. Giroud, got a runner there. Got a runner. It's Coquelin. He's got Giroud. <laughs> oh, my days. What a finish. Holy shit. Boy, oh boy, am I glad I didn't sign a striker to replace Giroud. First time, is it? First time. I might have to start signing Giroud when I play as other teams on other saves. This is amazing. Is that six goals in less than three games? Monreal, he might be tired, but he's still working hard. Giroud. Coquelin. This is straight from their kickoff from the previous goal. Can we score another? Ozil. Giroud, Ozil. Oh, it's got through to Alexis. Oh, good save, Mignolet. That's the first time anybody said that in approximately three years. Good ball in again. Chambo nodded it down. Giroud, Coquelin. Oh, do, oh, I think that was Ox with the shot just over the bar. And now we're in three 0 up. I do feel safe bringing Debussy on at left back. Is Coquelin? I've been forgetting to commentate there. Didn't switch on. Alexis, Giroud. Come on, bang another. Ah, oh, that's a poor ball. Mignolet clears, but only as far as Koscielny. Koscielny wide for Alexis. Great touch. Oh, Milner brought him down there. What? Referee, that's abysmal. Ozil, though. Alexis. Oh, he's got men in. Giroud. He's got Coquelin. Oh, what a miss. <laughs> what a miss. He's had a poor game, Coquelin. And... Uh, that only serves to compound it. I do want to watch the replay of this. I want to watch just how free and clear he was because it looked like he had the entire penalty area to himself pretty much and he did. Oh, he did. Oh, why did he take it first time? Take a touch, man. Now, for the final sub, it's before the international break, so I don't really need to rest anybody because um, I've got no games coming up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring on Rod Holding for what I imagine will be his Premier League debut. And uh, let's give him a quick team talk. Passionate... And there's a lot to come from you. Oh, fuck you then, mate. Check with goal kick. Uh, looking long for Giroud, obviously, but Sacco intercepts his money. Oh, great tackle by, I think, Debushi. Yeah, it was. Firmino wide, though, for Milner. Um, how was that not a foul, anybody? Anybody, how was that not a foul? Fairly certain. Uh, I think it was Kishan, he just took him the fuck out. But anyway, here's Coutinho. Firmino. Could still be time for Liverpool to get back into this. Eight minutes. Oh, here's Coutinho. And there, we, there it is. They've got one back. Now, I think it's time that I turn off control and put on defensive. And uh, I'm not going to watch the replay of that goal because I'm bitter. I'm a bitter, bitter old man who's not that old. So there we have it. 3-1 win away against Liverpool. Very, very, very good result. Um, passionate. I'm very happy. But how did we not beat West Brom then? We dominated possession in that game as well. Uh, didn't really dominate shots on goal because obviously Liverpool are a good side. But yeah, how did we win this one so relatively comfortably? Their goal came right at the end. But we didn't beat West Brom. Maybe we, the way we play works against teams that come at us. But then away from home against more resolute teams, we need to come up with something else. Uh, maybe something more direct. 
involving Giroud's target man, maybe get a striker up there with him or something. I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. But Giroud. Can we just take a moment here to point out that this message or a similar message has been there immediately after all three games so far. Giroud on form for Arsenal. And it has a ring to it. Freddy Adu, Olivier Giroud. The bromance is real. The bromance is possibly the love of my life so far. What a man. Two more goals, a 9.0 rating. That puts him on six goals from three games. One of those games was away at Liverpool, the other one home against Man United. And he got the equaliser in a poor performance against West Brom. He is the fucking man. He is my fucking man.